Hey folks, just a reminder to check out my other channel, How to Rock Spirit, where I talk about everything under the sun, from astrology to mysticism to psychedelic yoga to practical materialism and philosophy too. Hope to see you there. Namaste. Good day, YouTube. How's it going? Uh, my name is Dustin Cormier. Welcome to How to Rock a Campfire. Today's episode is going to be on a funky tune called It's Not Unusual by Tom Jones. Uh, my mom loves this song, and um, my brother and I usually play it like three semitones down from what Tom Jones actually does. Plus, we try to add sol a solo in there. We try to make it a little bit less Broadway than Tom Jones does it, uh, make it into more of an acoustic thing. But I'm going to show you guys the real... Tom Jones way to play the song and then I'm going to show you guys how me and my brother do it and me and my brother and my mom play this song uh, at the end of uh, I'll, or I'll show us doing a cover at the end of this video it was uh, a night that we were drinking on it was family day and family day is a, a holiday we have in Ontario Canada uh, it's where we all get together with our families and what my family does on family day is we all get together have a few drinks and we jam so, uh, yeah. So basically, the actual song is in the key of C, and I've transposed it to the key of A. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. And that seems a lot better fitting for my voice, but Tom Jones has got the pipes, so he can, he can, he can do it in C, you know? Um, it might have been better for us to do it in C for my mom, but anyway, me and my Sean, me and my brother always play it in A. Um, so first I'm going to show you in the key of C, though. Um, so the song start, will start off, plus it's very electric the way Tom Jones does it uh, in the key of when, when, when he does it. Uh, and that's what I'm going to try to show you guys, a little bit more of an electric feel. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. I'm going from, uh, basically, uh, I like to do this song, it's all bar chords, the way, uh, I think that's the best way to play it anyway, especially in the key of C. You're going from the C major 7th, because when you do it with a bar chord, you can hit the notes and then release your left hand to give it that staccato. Chuck, and then release, right? Down, and then uh, uh, when, I, when I do it, I'll go down, and I'll do a down stroke, and then I'll do another down stroke, and I'll have my left hand released and dead so that all you hear is these dead notes. Chuck, dead notes, and then uh, on the down stroke. And then when you come back up on the up stroke, you, you actually press into the guitar again with your left hand. Down, and down, 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 up, down, up, down. You'll notice at the end, I'm also the only thing you're hearing is down, 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 and all all I'm doing is adding more up and down strokes with the dead notes in there to give it more of a, a rhythmic feel. say dead I mean like you're releasing the left hand to make that dead the dead ghost notes on the chord right oh buddy you're making too much noise Poochie she's good <clears throat> it's not unusual to be loved by anyone it's not unusual to have fun with anyone so then that you go to the E minor 7th Seven to the G. It's not unusual to see me cry. Oh, I want to die D minor to the G to the C minor seventh again. It's not 
it's not unusual to go out at any time. But when I see you hanging about, it's such a crime. It's an E minor. If you should ever want to be loved by anyone to the T minor, now to the G. It's not unusual. On this part, when I come into the, it happens every day. I really like to have an emphasis more on the bass notes than the high notes, like I was doing more of the high notes before. Now I'm really striking the lower notes. It happens every day. Down, 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 down. No matter what they say to the G, you'll find it happens. On this part, we do a chromatic thing. This is the only time in this song that this chromatic thing happens, and I like to make the point of that because there's lots of places where it seems like it could happen, but this is the only time that Tom Jones does it. And I think in the video of the cover, we do it like pretty uh, liberally, <laughs> more than the Tom Jones does it anyway. But yeah, uh, love will never do. Uh, See what I was doing there, though, right? Love will never do what you wanted to. So then E minor seventh, chromatic down to the E flat minor seventh, to the D minor seventh, to the G to the G seventh, and then that's when you come back to the C major seventh again for the solo. This is the part where he goes to find that I'm in love with you. And they it basically fades out by just going from the E minor, from the D minor to the E minor. To, uh, he goes to the C major once to find that I'm in love with you. And then he goes to the E minor again, to the D minor again, to the E minor again, to the D minor again. Basically till the fade out. Buddy, you're making too much noise. Come here, Jojo. Come, come, come. You're making too much noise, Poochie. So I want to show you guys a cover of the version, the Tom Jones version, and I'm going to do it myself. Um, but before I do that, I want to show you guys, I, I like I said, we do this cover, um, and it's an A. And so I want to explain to you guys what I'm doing in the key of A. It's basically a very similar thing, the way me and my brother do it. Uh, just kind of slower, a little bit more chill, um, and a lot lower. You know, it's a little bit easier from, uh, for the vocal register uh, to play this song lower. And that's the thing that's cool about music, is that you can transpose chords in order to fit the register of your voice. In a lot of songs, it doesn't work. You know, you can really drastically tell the change in the song. Sometimes you want to go for that, you know? We can make up, but we could do covers. Anybody that wants to do a cover of a song, you can just tra put a capo on, or you can just transpose it to a different key, um, and it will be a similar song, but your own signature, your own flow, your own vocal register that you seem to be better at, you know? If a song's too high for you, transpose it lower. Or if it's too low for you, just put you can just put a capo on, right? And the capo, and then you do the same basic chord structure, and it'll just be lifted up however many semitones you put the capo on. You know? An E chord down here 
is going to sound, um, or you know, if you're doing a song in the key of E, A, you go E, A, and B, you do the same thing up here on the fourth fret, or well, that's pretty high, but like, you know, you can do the same song in G, right? So you do an E style chord, an A style chord, and then a B seventh style chord, and well, you know. And it's the same thing, the first chord, the fourth, the fourth chord, and the fifth chord, because it's the degrees, the distance between the notes don't change between the key signatures. I should say the distance between the chords. So for example, if you're doing an E chord, E is the first note in the, the first chord in the key of E, the key signature of E, because uh, E is the first note in the E scale. Now I notice that A is the fourth note in the E scale. Do, re, mi, fa, do, re, mi, fa, first, second, third, fourth, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, right? A is the fourth, and then B is the fifth, right? And that distance between the E chord to the B seventh chord, or the, the B chord, that's the first chord to the fifth chord. You're going to hear that exact same sound if you do it in a different key with the same bone structure. It'll just have a different flesh on it. It'll just be raised, but the distances between the chords will be the same. You can do that same chord progression if in the key of G, and it'll sound the same, just higher up. Let's say G. G is the first, C is the fourth, D is the fourth, fifth, and then G is the first. G first, second, third, fourth. Do, re, mi, fa, G, C, D seventh, G. It sounds the same thing as the E chord. A, E, A, D seventh to the E. Right? They have a similar sound, just raised up a key signature. And that's what key signatures are all about. So what I've done for this song, it's not unusual, is I've got a version for people who uh, are... Uh, I'm going to say perfectionist types, you know, who want to play exactly what's, what Tom Jones is playing. Uh, you guys can play this in the actual C major 7th, just like Tom Jones does. Or you can do it the way we do it, which is kind of like a little bit more low down um, in the key of A. <sighs> so let's just see if I can do it. So I'm just going to basically play the same chords uh, just in the key of A, right? So we've got the first... We've got the second minor, and then the fifth. That's the E, and then the E goes back to A. I'm just going to tune up here. So yeah, same tune, right? Uh, and we also do it a little bit slower, I think. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. But when I see you hanging about with anyone, it's not unusual to see me cry. does 
the solo in there. He's he's better than soloing than I am. Yeah, uh, I'm better with like rhythm, you know, keeping the thing going. It's not unusual to be mad with anyone. It's not unusual to be sad with anyone. But if you ever find that you've changed at any time. though that was uh and i think that we change it up a little bit we had like we had a lot to drink on this cover i'm going to show you guys i'm just showing you cover the cover just for the hell of it because it was a fun time and like i like to show that you know music is not always about being 100 percent serious uh at least where i'm concerned a lot of my musical growth happens in the watery dark ferment of just playing in a basement with a bunch of people who aren't you know we're not we're not playing at the ACC yet, <laughs> and um, so enjoy being able to goof up right now without it showing on your paycheck because you're not getting paid anyway, <laughs> you know? Um, that's where a lot of the best growth happens for me as a musician is when I'm not trying and we're with a bunch of people and just kind of giving her, you know? Save the hard, you know, fancier stuff and trying to be tight for when you're at a bar and you're actually on the gig, right? Open mics are a good place to kind of groove out as well. Anyway, so I'm going to go through the song in the key of C. I'm going to try to really Tom Jones it. Um, really make it like that electric-y kind of more Broadway-ish sort of feel. And I'm even trying to do the Tom Jones thing on my voice a little bit. I don't know if it sounds retarded or what, but I guess we're going to find out anyway. Um, yeah, so this is uh, me doing a cover of It's Not Unusual by Tom Jones in the key of C. And then I'm going to show you guys uh, a little bit more relaxed version in the key of A after. <sighs>
something like that anyway. I tried to, I wanted to show you guys, um, just for the sake of this is how to rock a campfire, I want to show you actually how to play the song. And that was, if you listen to it on YouTube anyway, it's in the key of C, right? Um, and I tried to actually show you the actual chords. These are the chords that you'd be hearing if you wanted to play it with the radio. And, uh, and I've heard, uh, by the way, there's a version that Tom Jones does uh, live, and it's actually in the key of B flat. Uh, if A is a little bit too low for you, you can take the A version of the song that I showed you before uh, and slap a capo on the first fret, and that's when he, he, he does it in the key of B flat. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual. Oh, God, I can't sing Tom Jones, you know? <laughs> He's got the pipes, man. Um, anyway, so I hope you guys dug that, and now here's a video of us goofing around playing It's Not Unusual on Family Day, and I hope you guys enjoy. See, the three of us could do it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We're doing a go through, Sean? All right, let's do it. Oh, my God, to the mat. Toads to the mood. <clears throat> All right. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to How to Rock Campfire. I'm with my mother, Mumsy, and brother, Sean, and we're having fun on a Sunday night on family <sighs> day. This is the holiday in Canada, <sighs> in Ontario. And, uh, yeah, so this is It's Not Unusual by Tom Jones. Hope you guys dig it. <laughs> yeah, the Carlton. <laughs> just gotta put on a record player and just, like... <laughs> Carlton. Tom Jones! All right, Sean Jones, let's see what you got. Ow! Ow! Changed at any time. It's 
Thanks a lot, everybody. See you next week. Awesome. That was good. That was good. Right. Right? Yeah, we got that down Did right you at like the end. It? Yeah, that was awesome. That pot made you high as a kite. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, he was, he was right about that, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we look like we're No, wasted, it was good. That was just.